Welcome back to the Blitz, everybody. Here we go towards decision day at the polls on Tuesday. But in this case, the Baltimore Ravens had a real chance, Tom, to open up some serious lead in the election in the AFC North if they could win at home against Marvin Lewis and the Cincinnati Bengals. Baltimore had a one-game lead going in. And on the very first play, Baltimore was in business. Mike Smith strips the ball of Chris Perry. Musa Smith recovers for the Ravens. Leads to Jamal Lewis touchdown. Bengals in a hole. More hole here. Carson Palmer. The Chad Johnson off his hand. Samari roll. Shakes, rattles, then rolls. And then, as he's going to go down, where's Ed Reed? I feel you. I feel you. I got you. And Ed Reed could go all the way. Five minutes in. 14 nothing. Baltimore. The exact thing you don't want to happen in the other guy's building. Stover a field goal, 17-0. Carson Palmer hits TJ. You say Hushmanzada. I say Hushmanzada. I say touchdown, 26 yards, 17-7. Now 23-10, fourth quarter. Palmer to Chris Henry, the angular one. 71 yards down the sidelines. Now the ball down. Knee hit first before the fumble. They challenge. But while, and this ended up not counting, and Reed takes a hard spill, and Ray Lewis takes a harder spill. And, 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 and you just want the referee, and I, I know it's split-second decision, but to recognize he clearly was down, and then those injuries would not have taken place. There wouldn't have been a return. Now, Ray Lewis gets back in place, but why not, you know, why not try it? Rudy Johnson runs right at Ray Lewis. Very next play, four-yard touchdown. Rudy and the Bengals in business. Well, Ray not 100% after that lick that he right. took along with Ed Reed. So now it's 23-17, eight and a half minutes to go in the fourth. Steve McNair. And looking for Derek Mason, his old buddy from Tennessee. Ooh, Jonathan Joseph had a chance. Mason actually made a very good play, saving a problem. Ravens kick a field goal. 26-20, two-minute warning. Carson Palmer looking for Hushmanzada. And it is incomplete fourth down. They want the flag. But Ronnie proved one of those guys that interception last, and he throws the helmet, which you can't do. You know, and, and again, it, you know, might have been a little bit of early contact, but again, the referee, that, that looked almost simultaneous. You know, I don't, I don't discredit the ref for making that call. Now, this is strange. The Bengals have no timeout. So fourth and 23, Steve McNair, throw the ball up as high as you want. Brian Bell collecting not to punt, not to try a field goal, because it might get blocked. But now, the Bengals take over their own 29-yard line. They get 18 seconds to go. What could happen? Well, Carson Palmer can throw it. Deep to Chris Henry. Could he make a mi Well, he doesn't even try for a miracle grab. Chris McAllister jumps off the Tallahatchie Bridge. Palmer saying, hey, Chris, the line's blocking. I'm throwing. Give me the effort that the rest of the team. I mean, I, I don't know that's what he said. I'm guessing. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. And the Ravens beat the Bengals, who feel that their loss unacceptable because all of a sudden Cincinnati's nice start. Remember, they were 3-0 once.